Welcome to the Fleet Complete video series. In this video, we'll be discussing the Task Tracker mobile application. By the end of this module, you'll be able to name compatible mobile phone versions, log into Task Tracker, describe GPS statuses, navigate the mobile app, change a user status, explain the work assignments page, discuss activity information, process activities, discuss the settings and help menus, and log out of the mobile application. Task Tracker is currently available for Android 4.1 and above and iOS 9 and above and can be downloaded from their respective app stores. Let's take a look at how resources will be logging into the Task Tracker mobile application. Mobile workers are required to log into the Task Tracker application using the email address and temporary password sent to them via their welcome email. This email is generated when the resources record is created within the Fleet Complete desktop application and the Task Tracker option is selected. The login screen contains the Enter Email and Enter Password fields, as well as the Remember Me, Login, and Can't Access Your Account buttons. To log in, type the resources email address and password. If you would like the app to remember your login credentials for future sign-in, tap the Remember Me button. Then tap Login. If you forget your password, tap the Can't Access Your Account link. You will need to enter your email and tap Reset Password. You will then receive an email containing a new temporary password. Let's take a look at the GPS statuses and their meanings for Task Tracker. When logged into Task Tracker, you'll enter the telephone number for the device. The application will then verify if the phone number matches any phone number stored in the desktop application. If the phone number is registered, you will see a GPS on icon in the header bar. GPS snapshots will be sent from the device to the Fleet Complete desktop application every 30 seconds. If the device's location has not changed during the 30 seconds, no snapshot will be sent. If the phone number entered does not match the phone number in Fleet Complete, you will see GPS off and no tracking capabilities will be available. Now we'll review how to navigate the Task Tracker mobile application. Upon logging in, the driver will land on the My Assignments page by default. There are three tabs for this page, which are Pending, In Progress, and Done. The In Progress tab displays first and lists all activities dispatched to and accepted by the driver with timeframes for completion. To access the main menu, tap the three-line menu icon located in the upper left corner of the My Assignments page. To promote ease of use, the resource can use the main menu to quickly access different areas of the mobile application. The main menu includes Available, which allows the resource to change their status, Work Assignments, to direct the resource to the My Assignments screen in Progress tab, Settings, to direct the resource to their app settings, Help, to direct the resource to the online help system, and Logout, which allows the resource to log out of the mobile app. Let's next discuss these menu options beginning with changing a user status. When the resource first logs into the mobile app, the status will change to Available automatically due to the default selected option. This can be changed via the Settings menu as needed. This way, the resource can change their status and keep the dispatcher informed of their availability at any time. From the main menu, tap the Current Status. From the drop-down list, tap the new status between Available, On a Break, and Off. The next option is the My Assignment screen, which lists all activities that have been assigned, are ongoing, and have been completed. This screen also outlines the number of activities in each tab, the last time the list was updated, and the current location. From the main menu, tap Work Assignments. Tap the corresponding tab to view all activities. These tabs include Pending, In Progress, and Done. The Pending tab lists all activities that have been dispatched and are awaiting either an acceptance or rejection from the resource. The number of unactioned activities will be indicated next to the Pending icon. The activities in this tab are sorted by the starting date and time. If two or more activities have the same start date, 
they'll be sorted by time. If the date and time are the same, they'll next be sorted alphabetically by address. The label name of New Activity indicates that it's not yet been viewed by the resource. When the resource accepts an activity, it moves to the In Progress tab. When the resource rejects the activity, it no longer displays in the mobile application and is sent back to the Fleet Complete desktop application. The In Progress tab lists all activities that are currently being processed by the resource. The activities are sorted the same way as on the Pending tab. If Travel Time Estimates function is turned on via the mobile app settings, the upper portion of the activity will be highlighted in different colors indicating the following. Green indicating on time, yellow indicating that the activity has passed the starting time, and red indicating the driver will be late to the activity based on the travel time. The upper portion of the activity will include the amount of time you need to reach your destination from your current location. The last tab, Done, lists all activities that have been completed. This tab orders all completed activities based on their start and end time, not the completion time. Activities are stored in this tab until the end of day, at which point they are cleared. Let's now discuss the activities within Task Tracker. Each activity in Task Tracker contains the following information. Start date and time, end date and time, name of activity, reference, address, directions, name and phone number of the contact, activity instructions, location notes, and the complete button. There's also the three dot ellipses more button. This button contains additional functionality and is found within activities in both the pending and in progress tabs. The navigate to function opens the default map navigation on the device and provides directions from the current location to the activity's destination. The copy address function copies the activity's address to the device's clipboard, which can be used later when needed. The call contact function opens the device's dial pad and displays the phone number specified in the activity. And lastly, the cancel button returns you to the in progress tab. Let's next review how to process activities within Task Tracker. Once an activity has been opened, its details are displayed as previously discussed. If the activity is in dispatch status, the user can either accept or reject it by tapping the corresponding option. If accepted, the activity is moved to the In Progress tab. The resource is then able to use the More options such as Navigate To, Copy Address, Call Contact, and Cancel as previously discussed. If the activity is instead rejected, it will be removed from the Pending tab and sent back to the Fleet Complete Desktop application to be dispatched again. When an activity is in accepted status and has been completed, tap the Complete button at the bottom right of the Activity Information screen. Enter comments about the completion of the activity and then tap Save. This marks the end of the task and moves it to the Done tab. The Settings menu enables the resource to set up their preferred settings for the mobile application. Let's now review the options available from the Settings menu. From the main menu, tap Settings. Change Password allows the resource to update their password information directly from the mobile application. To change a password, tap Change Password from the Settings menu. Enter the current password, the new password, and confirm the new password. Then tap Change Password to save the changes. When Change Availability Status with Login is turned on, the resource's status will automatically switch to Available when the resource logs in and switch to Off when the resource logs out. When Change Availability Status Login is turned off, the resource will have to manually change the status when they log in and out of the mobile application. Use the slider bar to switch Change Availability Status with Login to On and Off. When Allow Autocomplete is turned on and the resource taps the Complete button for an activity, 
Tasks that are in progress will be moved to the Done tab by skipping the Activity Completion screen. When Allow Autocomplete is turned off, the resource will be required to fill out the Activity Completion screen and enter comments about the task. Use the slider bar to switch Allow Autocomplete to On and Off. The Travel Options menu enables the resource to set up their preferred settings for navigation purposes for the mobile application. Let's review the options available from the Travel Options menu. From the main menu, tap Travel Options. The Travel Time Estimates feature calculates the approximate time it takes for the resource to reach the activities from their current location. If it is turned on, the travel time is calculated for activities. If it is turned off, the travel time is not calculated. Use the slider bar to switch Travel Time Estimates to On and Off. The Departure Notification feature is an alert that will inform the resource when to leave in order to arrive on time for the next activity. In order for this notification to be triggered, the Travel Time Estimates must be enabled. If it is turned on, the alert will inform the resource when to leave. If it is turned off, no alerts will be sent. Use the slider bar to switch Departure Notification to On and Off. The My Phone Number feature enables the resource to view the number assigned to this device. To change the phone number for any reason, tap My Phone Number. Tap the new number into the Enter Phone Number field, and then tap Save. The Help menu item accesses the mobile application's online help system. Let's take a look at this now. This system provides you with a dynamic table of contents that is organized by the main functionality of the mobile application. When you tap a section's right arrow, you can access content that explains how to use the functionality. From the main menu, tap Help. On the Help screen, tap the corresponding section that you need more information about. Then tap the right arrow. Lastly, let's review the logging out process for Task Tracker. The resource can log out of the mobile application by navigating to the main menu and then selecting the Logout menu item. Once logged out, the application will then navigate the resource back to the login screen. Here is a list of topics we've covered in this video. Naming compatible mobile phone versions, logging into Task Tracker, describing GPS statuses, navigating the mobile app, changing a user status, explaining the work assignments page, discussing activity information, processing activities, discussing the settings and help menus, and logging out of the mobile app. This concludes our video on the Task Tracker mobile application.